In one noisy corner of Rio Salado College, paper and pens are replaced with potatoes and knives. And the classroom is the kitchen inside Cafe at Rio. You can almost smell the learning as it seeps from the pots of steaming spices and vegetables. Taste them like India here in no time. At the cafe, you'll find a menu packed with diverse choices. Indian cuisine, grass-fed burgers, and even chocolate cakes baked and decorated from the hands of Rio Salado's very own students. It's all part of their hands-on lesson on sustainable foods. They actually do an internship here in the cafe, um, learning to um, prepare sustainable food, learning where to purchase sustainable food from, uh, taking gardening classes, nutrition classes, really getting the whole gauntlet of uh, sustainable foods and what it means to work in the business. Students take classes online and put what they learn to use at the cafe. I've always loved eating food, but I've had a problem cooking it. I've gotten confused and it's been difficult for me. So to get in here and to have a professional come in here and cook, and particularly eating here in the cafe, the food is, the food is phenomenal. But the sustainable living lesson doesn't begin in the kitchen. Students start thinking green here in the community garden where they plant and grow their own sustainable foods. Our plants are a little short right now, but the goal of it in probably a few months or so, we will actually be bringing that produce into the Cafe Rio, serving that to our customers. About half the food served at Cafe Rio was grown organically, and almost all of it came from area farmers and ranchers. It's new, more nutritious, it tastes a lot better. It's not flown from 3,000 miles away. The students build relationships with local producers and build their menu based on what's fresh and growing at the time. It's all in an effort to make the least amount of impact on the environment and provide fresh and healthy options. The buzzword here is sustainability, and for Brian Preston, it's been a real eye-opener. It becomes a lifestyle, going to the farmer's market every Saturday, um, reading labels for the first time in my life. Not reading labels for calorie content, but reading labels to understand what's inside my food. You start to see the bigger picture of, of what our, the impact our food has on our local economies, the environment, our health. To keep sustainability at the core of what they do, the bigger picture means coming full circle, turning crop to cuisine, then compost. In the corner of our kitchen, we have a compost bin, which has uh, vegetables in it, eggshells, coffee grounds, and that all goes out to our garden outside, which students uh, will then tend to the compost pile that goes back on the garden, and then we're really completing the circle. Which brings us back to the point of the program, teachers helping students, helping us understand what living green really means.